MLT day. Let's talk about what happens. So, at 9 a.m. on your test day, you will come here, okay? Your test days are next week. You will come to this room at 9 a.m. You will not have class that day. Your teachers will be told they know that you're not there, you'll be here, okay? So that's okay by us, that's no problem. So, you will have to do two things when you come here. Number one is you will have to log in with your account number. Now we will give this to you, you don't have to worry about this, okay? I have your account numbers, I will give them to you on the test day. You don't have to worry about remembering this information. All you have to do is show up, sit down, take the number from me, type it into the computer, and the test will start. Wow. The practice test doesn't have that, so that's why you don't see login information now, but you will see it next week. So number one, log in with your account number, which I will give to you on test day. Then number two, you will begin the test just like you're gonna do it now, okay? But I want you to pay attention to something important. This is how it works, okay? This is the schedule. Let me get this out of the way. Okay. The schedule means that there will be a whole day set up. If that could, I think that computer doesn't work. Try a different one. I think that one's not working. Okay, so I think most of them work, but like one or two do not, and I'm pretty sure they're on that side. So yeah, try another one if the one you are on, are on is not working. We'll figure it out together. So will you give a mouse? Uh, you won't have to do much clicking. I, if you want to bring a mouse and hook it up, you can, but I don't have enough mouses for everybody. You can use the tracking thing with your finger, or you can bring your own mouse. That'll be up to you. But there will be two sessions. Okay, they're called session A and session B. You will see these yourself when you start the practice test. There's two sessions, two parts to the test. Each session for you students, now I strongly believe you will not need this much time, but you have been given a total of six hours to do this test. It does not take six hours. It does really not even take three hours. Native speakers finish this test in about two hours, less sometimes. For you, I really don't think it's gonna be much more than three. And even then, even then, for some of you, you're gonna look at this test and you're gonna go, God, this is for babies. And you're gonna do it very quickly because it's very easy, right? It's very easy. So how to understand it? Well, that's what this is going to be. You're going to start at 9 a.m. You're going to have a three-hour session A. Yeah, can you help that? Thank you, Shadow, for helping. So then you're going to have lunch. Okay, we'll make sure that you guys have some lunch time. So you have lunch the same as all the other students. You get an hour for lunch, and then you come back for session B, and we start at 1 p.m. So 9 a.m., three hours. Lunch, 1 p.m., three hours. If you finish early, Congratulations, you're done for the day. Yes, actually. Nice. Yes, yes. Because you're not supposed to be in your classes that day, you've been signed out, you're here. But once you finish your test, you're free, okay? Now, don't rush, because it's actually not that difficult. If you take your time and go through it, I really think that most of you will be finished pretty quickly, okay? So, that's why you're here today. You're gonna see the test questions. Now, the questions next week will be different, but they won't be very different. They'll be pretty similar. Okay? They will be pretty similar to what you're gonna see all there together with me now. So let's go through that process together, okay? Let's everyone click on begin practice test, okay? Let's everyone do that now. Click the begin practice test button for me, please. So you should get to that point. I they say like, we close to that meaning, so like some words we don't know that meaning. How would you? So in that context, Shadab, you have to use what's called context clues. You gotta look at the whole story, and that will give you clues to what that word means. So can I make an action on the page? Oh, no, oh. that's. How did you get? Wow! How did you even get here? 
here. I don't even know how you got here. Well, you've gotten the login page for the EQAO. That's kind of EQAO. Cute. Yeah, like that's what I go into to set up the test. <laughs> I can get you back there, but that's, that's very funny, Laura. I've never seen that before. Wow, okay. <laughs> Like you almost hacked into the system, <laughs> almost. But there, that's where you're supposed to be, okay. So all right, everyone else is in session A, great. All right, you're in session A. Congratulations, everyone. You got to the first part. Like, do you know any easy way to know the meaning? Like, can I guess, like, what's the easy way? The easy way to know the meanings is to read the whole story and to think about the whole thing as a whole. Because even if you don't know a couple of words, if you know the main idea of the story, you can still probably answer the question. That's the key. And that's the thing for me that I think is gonna make sure you understand how to answer these questions. Because remember, 90%, 90% of this test is multiple choice. 90%. That means that all of the first five of six questions for session A and the first five of six questions for session B are multiple choice. That's easy, you guys will be okay. You just read the stories and think about context clues, just like I said. And then, there are written answers, of which there are two, A and B. Most terrible one. These are the most difficult, Shadab is right. However, because they are the most important, they require writing. A total, a total of 600 words. And they don't let you write more. They will cut you off at 510, at 110. They'll cut you off, no more. 